All right, ladies and gentlemen, back here for a little preview for Jefferson Golf. We're here with Kyle Detweiler, Sr. Uh, Kyle, talk to me about how golf started for you. How did that conversation go that you said, hey, I want to go hit a little white ball all around 18 holes? Uh, it really started when I came out to play with my dad like when I was like eight. Okay. It, like, But I didn't really ever like start playing until like freshman year. So like I was playing like for fun like every now and then. So like, you're dabbling for like 10 years or so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but he, you said it got serious – when? For your like, freshman year? Yeah, like right around freshman year. When did you decide, hey, I, I like this enough to go out and compete in it? Uh, honestly, I, I'm not sure, but I, I just remember feeling like good when I hit those good shots, and I'm like, man, this is a pretty good feeling, so yeah. I just wanted to do it more, I guess. Everybody, now listen, I'm, I'm new to golf. I'd say I've been playing for 10 years, but I don't know what constitutes playing at my, at my age and my, my level. Um, everybody's got a favorite club that they use. What's your favorite club in your bag? Um, I guess it, like feel good wise, it's probably the driver. Feels okay. really nice when you get like that long drive. Yeah. But like again, like when you get those like really nice chips or like the really nice putts, it's, I guess it's all in the moment for me. Oh, like, okay. So you've got a, a plethora yeah. of, of it. Just it depends on the moment. Okay, I like that. What is your favorite course that you've played so far? So far, um, probably Quail Hollow. It's just like really, it's a really nice course. Really hard. It's okay. Really hard where's course, where's Quail Hollow? Uh, I don't. Where? Painesville, yeah. Painesville, Painesville yeah. okay. Where is a course that you would love to play before your time is, is done in golf? Uh, <laughs> that's a hard question. There's a lot of, like, really, really nice courses out there. Um, Honestly, just, like, I want to play, like, it, like it would probably be nice to play in, like, every state. Like, at least one course in every state. One course in every state? That's a yeah. nice bucket list. Yeah. Would you ever play Augusta? <laughs> I'd probably try to. <laughs> that's that's uh, like I know that that there will be some dude following me around the entire eighteen holes with you better replace that divot or you you know like <laughs> yeah. did golf etiquette because I'm not that guy, but just to say that you played at the same place that Tiger Woods I don't know if you know who that is yeah, yeah. he's been playing for a little bit he used to be young like me, um but uh you know, I mean we had St Andrews was an answer earlier, um, Pebble Beach. Uh, one of the, the the kids actually played Pebble Beach already. So you think about that. What are your favorite courses? Are they long courses, short courses? What are they? Uh, I'd say like right in the middle. So like you got like a couple of long holes, but like you also have like sort of like the shorter holes. So, so you're like a par four guy, is yeah, what I'm getting. Yeah. Okay. Because like the, the, what I've learned is you're either a par five guy or a par three guy, and you're sitting there like in the middle. You like yeah. that par four. Yeah. You like that challenge because, in at least in my experience, you could tell me you've been doing this way better than I have. Par fours are the most challenging because it's either you feel really good after a par four yeah. or you feel really, b really bad after a par four. And I just watch, I just excuse my language there because in golf, you know, you can get to, get, get to yourself. Um, so being a par four guy, how often do you kind of catch yourself up in that mentality of I've got to be better? Because it is you against you. Yeah, uh, I guess it's like, I don't know how to explain this. So like when I get like when I get caught up in like, getting like bad strokes i just kind of like try and reset my mind like p before every shot i'll take like a deep breath take like a swig of water or something like that okay like re reset my mind do you have like a, a uh i don't know an algorithm that you go through before every shot like a, a routine uh i guess it's like i take like a practice swing and then like i'll like wind up my shot and take a deep breath and then go and try to take my shot are golfers superstitious uh some of them are okay are you uh not really okay not really I was getting ready to go down a <laughs> rabbit hole there, but yeah. um, when you uh, when you look at this senior year, what do you ultimately want to accomplish this year? Uh, personally? Yeah, personally, team wise, whatever. Uh, personally, I want to lower. I, wanna, I just want to focus on lowering my score, like individually, I guess. And that helps the team. Yeah. Overall. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do when you get out of uh, high school? Um, I'm not really sure yet. I know I want to go to college, and yeah. I was thinking about studying abroad, but. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to play golf? Yeah. You do. Very good. Dude, congratulations. Looking Thank forward you. to following you all year on yeah. YSN, man. Good luck yeah. to you, and uh, keep those strokes low, yeah. okay? Yeah. And just take a deep breath. <laughs> we'll be back with more right here uh, on YSN right after this.